When they first arrived, they were definitely too skinny. They were the first kittens that I decided to foster. Where are you going? <laughs> this one lady had found them on her roof. <laughs> and she waited for the mother to come and she never came back. She was desperate, trying to find someone who could feed them. El Profesor Tokyo Rio in Berlin are about two weeks old. I had to learn a lot in those first few weeks. We're trying to get you clean, aren't we? It was definitely a challenge. <laughs> that first night was difficult. <laughs> I had alarms to make sure that I was bottle feeding them every three to four hours. Hey guys. It just became a routine of eat, bathroom, sleep, play a little bit, give them a bath if they need it. You learn as you go. Tokyo Awako. El Profesor, which was my personal favorite, <laughs> he got a bit sick. I didn't know what was going on. He just kind of stopped eating, which when they're so small is really important to address. My mom's cat actually started taking care of him. And I thought that was so adorable that she knew that something was wrong with him. <laughs> when he was sick, I was like, oh my God, I hadn't even thought about the fact that maybe I can't save them. I definitely felt a little bit overwhelmed because I just didn't want my first foster to pass away. What you doing? And I had started fostering because of my dog, Simone. She passed away. It was really quick, and it was probably the worst pain I've ever been in. And the other one, four. So I was like, I want to help animals survive. I think having the kittens helped me not get over Simone, but just feel like I was doing something in her honor. After a couple of days, El Profesor recovered, so I was very relieved. Profesor! They're so cute. I had them for six to eight weeks. Oh, yeah. At that point, I felt like they were ready to be in their forever homes. Tokyo. I get to see photos of them now. They're older and thriving, and they have little kitten brothers and sisters now. If anyone is suffering with their mental health, I think having someone else to take care of really does help you. They give you a reason. I couldn't not smile and not be happy when I had them in my arms or when they were all cuddling around me. 